Hey friend, welcome. I am here to share a throwback thrift haul with you today. Now you might wonder what that means. And basically I'm, well, I'm Jen and I'm a reseller. So what I do is I go to thrift stores, garage sales, and I buy clothes to resell online. And then sometimes I share what I bought here um, on YouTube with you. And then I resell those. And so I sell mostly on eBay, a little bit on Poshmark. Um, and basically I just, my throwback thrift haul is me sharing what has actually sold from the videos that I shared my haul, uh, what I bought at the thrift store. Because really, if I share that information, that's completely meaningless. If you are trying to resell like I am, I want to know what's actually selling, not just what someone is buying. So we're going to throw back to about three months ago when I went to Durham, North Carolina with my husband. Uh, he was on a work trip and it was over our anniversary, our 20th anniversary actually. And we decided to go together and turn it into a double work trip. Work trip for me, work trip for him. And we got to celebrate our anniversary along the way as well. So I went to several, six I don't remember, <laughs> several thrift stores in Durham, North Carolina. There were so many, it was almost overwhelming. There was one Goodwill that was pretty good. There was um, like a really cool vintage resale shop that was overpriced. It wasn't really overpriced if you were just shopping, but it was overpriced for my purposes. So I bought a total of 74 items to resell my cost of goods for that trip was $392.45. That was how much I spent at all the stores. Now I had food costs and travel costs that I didn't play into this, but it was partially pleasure for me. So I am not too terribly worried about that. However, <laughs> I paid up for a lot of things. I paid um, more than, I like to keep my cost of goods around $2 less than if I can, because I don't generally find a lot of like really amazing brands. I don't often find things that are going to sell for 50, 60, 70 and more dollars. Occasionally I do, and it's really exciting when that happens, but I don't, that doesn't happen very often. Most of the items that I sell, sell between uh, 15 and $25 would be my guess plus shipping. So I paid more than I would normally. It ended up being $5 and 30 cents was my average cost of goods. And my sell through rate is not great. Three months later, after listing 74 items, only 28 of them have sold. That is 38%. That is a little bit sad. Now I will say some of them were more like spring and summer items and I didn't list them right away because I was trying to get more of those winter items listed through the fall. So some of them have not been on eBay for three months. However, they're all listed now. So I will say too, if you go back and watch the video, which you should if you haven't, it's fun and I'm a loon. Uh, <laughs> let's be honest. So anyway, uh, if you have gone back, that number might be a little different. And it's because sometimes I find flaws in things and I just average out things. So we're going to go through what sold. I will tell you what it sold for. And when I say that, that's what everyone, what they paid on eBay, what they paid plus what they paid for shipping, because that's what comes into my account. And then I will tell you my profit and how long, roughly, how long it took to sell. Um, I will also say, what else did I want to say before we got into it? I don't know, 28 items. I'm not going to share what didn't sell, except I have like four things that I'm going to kind of highlight that I'm surprised they didn't sell. It wasn't a great, it just wasn't great for me, in my opinion. So first there was a smart wool sweater that sold very fast. It sold, let's see, we, 
I bought most of these things on October 4th, 5th, and 6th. We didn't come home until the 7th or 8th. It probably took me a couple days to get photographs, so I probably didn't start listing until about the 10th, 11th, 12th, somewhere in there. And the Smart Wool sold on October 22nd. So maybe two weeks at the most it took to sell. So that was exciting. It didn't sell quite as much as I thought it would. $34.15, but my profit was $19.39. Now what I didn't write down for some reason was what I paid for each specific item. Most of the items I do have a specific price. Um, but you know, my average cost of goods, $5.30. So there you go. <laughs> uh, these Adriana Goldschmied jeans, they were um, men's. They sold for $37.10. My profit was $17.84. And they sold on the 25th of October. So again, maybe two weeks. Though I did have a pair of Adri Adriana Goldschmied women's jeans that I found on that same trip and they did not sell. These were Sorel kids boots, like snow boots, and they sold uh, within like three weeks for $26. My profit was $9.82. And then these were Levi's and 525s was the number. And I actually just sold another pair of 525s. That's interesting. But anyway, they were a perfect waist. So they had like an elastic waistband. Um, not a complete pull on, like there was, still was a zipper. Um, but I will tell you, I enjoy an elastic waistband in my jeans. So when I see those, there's a couple other brands like Democracy has sold for me. In fact, I think, yeah, I think there's a Democracy on this list as well. Um, but those elastic waistbands, the mamas like them. <laughs> I mean, maybe other people do too, but I sure do. Anyway, they sold for $26.73 and my profit was $10.32. And then there was this White House Black Market cardigan and it had like a pearl detail on it and it sold for $45.75. The shipping must have been high on that for some reason because my profit was only $19.85. I must have lived far away. Goodness. Yeah. Anyway, um, cause I can't imagine that I would have paid a lot of money for White House Black Market. I do like, like J. Jill, Black, White House Black Market, um, Talbot's, uh, what's the other one? Chico's. I like those brands a lot. They tend to sell if it is a White House Black Market. It's like, it has to be like a jacket or something. I hate it when people say it has to be something special because anything can be <laughs> special. Just depends on who the person is and what you think is special, but something a little bit more with some heft to it, you know, not just like a t-shirt. Then I found this torrid blazer and it had like ruched sleeving, sleevings, not sleevings, it had ruched <laughs> sleeves. Oh my goodness. I think when I bought this, I had just sold another one very similar. And I actually have another one listed because I keep finding them. But there's something about that ruched sleeve um, on a cardigan, or not a cardigan, on a blazer that seems to sell, especially in like the Torrid brand. And Torrid is a plus size brand, if you don't know. So that sold for $27.75 and my profit was $12.13. Then J. Jill, this one's like a ponty knit uh, tunic. Ponty knit has something to do with the stretch. Like it's like a four-way stretch versus a two-way stretch, I believe, don't quote me on that. Um, but it sold for $27.85 and my profit was $13.95. And then this was Joe Brown's. And when I, I comped it because I don't know the brand, but when I comped it in the store, it comped pretty well. And it actually sold, you know what? I was supposed to be telling you how fast all these sold. I will tell you right now I'm on the 11th of November. So now we're still just within a month of everything I've said so far has sold within a month. Uh, so this Joe Brown's, when I did a little bit more of the comping that I needed to do, it looked like it was a like European brand, but it sold on Poshmark for $24 plus they paid uh, shipping. I think I did offer a discounted shipping. I do that when I send out offers. 
and so my profit was $13.10. That one was new with tags, which I think was why I comped it because I just, I didn't know. Then here's those Democracy jeans. They also sold on Poshmark for $22. My profit was $10.88. Again, probably with discounted shipping. I didn't write that down for some reason. But the, yeah, the Democracy jeans with those, that stretch, I tell you, I love it. <laughs> so then there was Ma, a moth cardigan and it was so pretty. It had like um, crochet, like a crochet detail. Um, it was just like an open knit and it kind of had a, like a floral detail around the collar. Very, very pretty. Unfortunately, it was returned. So I don't really have a profit on that, which stinks. <laughs> but I believe it was just returned for fit. Um, not anything that I did, which is good. So then this Eileen Fisher sweater sold for $23. I probably paid too much for that because I get a little excited when I see Eileen Fisher. But my profit was $12.30. And that just sold on the 13th of uh, November. So we're still within a month. Then these were Torrid jeans. And I, I just... Torrid really, I mean, this is the second Torrid item just from this haul that has sold. So I, I do sell a decent amount of Torrid. I'm not really sure, but this was the bombshell straight. Torrid does have like their um, style name in their jeans, which I really like. These sold for $23 on Poshmark and my profit was $12.30. Again, within about a month, maybe a little more. Fresh Produce is a brand that I really like to resell, especially in like plus sizes. This dress, I found a bunch of Fresh Produce dresses, like I want to say four or five on this trip. And this one sold for $26.55 and my profit was $13.55. This sold within about five weeks. And then another J. Jill, this one was the like sub brand of Love Linen and it was a floral dress. And I do believe it was, it might've been new with tags. It might not have been. So anyway, it sold for $34.73 and I was really surprised because it sold in the middle of November and it was linen. Linen tends to be more like a summer fabric, but I don't care. I'll sell it. <laughs> um, and let's see, my profit was $14.84 and it was bought on the 18th. So about five weeks there. And then Talbot's, this one is weird to me. Like I thought it was going to sell a lot faster than it did um, and for more than it did and it was returned. <laughs> so again, that profit doesn't really count, but it sold for $26.65. So I still have that sweater in my store and hopefully someone will buy it because I thought it was just beautiful with that Fair Isle um, print on the collar. It's just beautiful. So Pendleton Blazers, I sold a ton of them this fall. This one sold within about six weeks of listing it and it sold for $35.20 and my profit was $15.87. And then I paid probably too much for this sweater, but it was L.L. Bean. It was Shetland wool, and then it had elbow patches, which I thought were all really good things. It sold for $37.75, and my profit was $16.60, and it sold within probably six or seven weeks. So, I don't know. I feel like I know, I think I spent like $12 on this sweater, which is a lot for me, but I also felt like it probably should have sold for more. I don't know. I see other people's like sold videos and they're like, oh, I sold this sweater for $60. I feel like that should have fallen in there. However, I don't know that it comped that well. So I don't know. I should say too, when I'm saying comped, um, I look up items on eBay and see how much they've sold for in the past, what items are listed for now, how many are listed versus how many are sold. And that all plays into one, whether I buy the item or not, and two, how much I list it for or sell it for, which we'll talk about in a minute, I think. 
oh yeah, we'll talk about when I talk about something that did not sell. So let's see, where was I? Here's Pure Jill, again, another J. Jill item. This was organic cotton tunic. It was really like a muslin feeling material. It sold for $26.52. My profit was $11.11 and it sold within two months. So it sold right at the beginning of December. This shirt I spent, I think, $16 on. <laughs> um, and the comp on it, there was one sold when I bought it and it was sold for $70. And I was like, I need to try it. And I don't know why, I don't know why I felt the need to do that because there were quite a few listed, but only the one sold when I looked it up in the store. When I went to list it, there were more sold. Um, I don't know why it's different sometimes when I look in the store versus when I look at home, but it is. But anyway, the brand was Turnbull Asser, Turnbull and Asser, I think. And it said something in the tag about being made in England, I think, which was what made me want to look it up. It just looked really nice, like the way the tag was. So I looked it up. It did sell for $50.60, and my profit was $26.77. That was my second highest profit of all these items, which is not great. And that sold within two months. The next item also sold within the two months and was my highest profit. It's still not that great. It was another Eileen Fisher and this was like a turtleneck pullover purple sweater. And it sold for $49.60 and my profit was $26.90. When I say it's not great, I mean, I would love for all my profits to be that. Like, that's great. But for that to be the highest... I wanted more of these items to be within the $20 profit range, especially when I'm spending $5 per item. Does that make sense? That's just my own thing. I think that, you know, however, if you're a reseller, however you want to resell is how you want to resell. Like I watch a lot of different um, YouTubers and everybody does it differently. And I think that's perfectly fine. But for me, I just wanted, when I'm spending $5.30, I wanted a lot of these to be a little bit higher in the profit. And I wanted to sell more than 28 items out of the 74. That's just, ugh, makes my heart hurt a little bit. So this Fashion Nova was, had, was a red sequin dress. It was new with dags. I comped it in the store and it looked like I could sell it for about... Uh, $40. It did have a few little sequins missing and so somebody uh, messaged me and said hey will you sell this for a little bit less because it has some sequins missing. I said sure. They ended up paying uh, $37.20 so they paid for everything and let's see my profit was $16.81 so again within about two months. This was a handmade jumper. I just had a feeling <laughs> there's no there were no comps I don't know I don't remember what I listed it for probably 25 or 30 dollars it sold for 1975 so probably 15 plus shipping you'll see here what they paid just for the item and then what I'm telling you is what came into my account from eBay because I get the amount that they paid for the item plus what they paid for shipping so my profit on this was $9.76. I will tell you, I am fairly confident I did not pay more than like a dollar <laughs> for this jumper. Um, I know that there were a few dresses that I bought at one of the stores that were like 99 cents or something like that. And I'm fairly confident that this jumper was one of them. It's sold on the 4th of December. So we're still within two months there. This was an Adore Me bra. Adore Me was the brand. I think that is like an online brand, but I'm not positive. It sold um, on the 6th of December, so still within two months. And we are, it sold for $25.82 and then $13.54 was my profit. And then these Hudson jeans were very, very cool. They were very wide legged. Um, and very light, and so I thought that that would might be desirable. 
I don't know. <laughs> uh, $34.75 was what the buyer paid and my profit was $15.86. So that is not terrible. Uh, again, within two months. And then Peter Millar. Oh, I was so excited about Peter Millar. I hear about Peter Millar a lot, but this only sold for $30.48. And again, I paid a lot and the shipping must have been a lot because my profit was only $8.87. In fact, I'm pretty sure when I looked at it, I had paid somewhere between like eight and $10. So I'm not even sure that I doubled my money on that which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. When I'm telling you my profit, I should say too that I take out what I paid in fees, what I paid for shipping, and then what I paid for the cost of goods. So just so you are aware of that. That sold on December 16th, so two and a half, you know, right about two months, probably a little more than two months. And then this e D shirt did take me a long time to list because one, it was more of a spring look and you know, with short sleeves and had all those, like it was really cute with all these little animals, but it also didn't have a, a size in it for some reason. So E Shakti, I don't really know much about the brand other than everything I've found has been plus size. So I think it's a plus size brand, but I'm not positive about that. But a lot of them have like these kind of funky prints and uh, this one was really cute. I was a little bit tempted to wear it or keep it, but it's not my style at all. I just thought it was cute. Um, but anyway, it so I didn't list it until just kind of recently. I would say maybe even within the last two or three weeks, um, but within a month probably, it sold for twenty one fifty five, and my profit was nine dollars and sixty three cents. I just measure things and say in the description, like I'm guessing on the size. Please see the measurements. So, and then these Torrid jeggings sold, what is this, like the fourth, third or fourth Torrid item? That's good. They sold for $20 on Poshmark. I think it was with a bundle. I could be wrong about that. But those sold on the 31st of December, so within three months, and my profit was $11.62. I will say that... Um, my sales completely tanked at the end of December and they haven't really gone up back up yet. So um, I'm not really surprised, you know, that I didn't sell much from this haul because I didn't sell much at all at the end of, towards the end of December. So then I also sold, I didn't, for some reason, didn't write everything down, but Eleven is the brand and it's a uh, Venus Williams is, uh, line and anyway it was a tennis skirt skirt had like shorts underneath and it sold really fast because it took me a long time to list this little skirt but it just sold a couple days ago for $26.15 and for some reason I didn't write down my profit on that specific thing but that's okay so a couple things that I was like really surprised that they haven't sold uh, first off, there was an athleta sweater that um, had like a dolman sleeve and it was really heavy knit, um, navy blue and white striped. And I actually fell in love with it and I keep it. I kept it and I wear it all the time. So, um, well, not all the time, but I wear it a lot to church. <laughs> so then there was this uh, eider knit and when I comped it, it comped really, really well. However, I don't think I comped it correctly. So, um, I spent like $17 on one sweater, which is completely out of my norm. And I certainly like, it was the first thing I listed and it still has not sold. And I don't, I probably just have it priced too high because I want to make back what I, you know, what I sold. I also found these Fox racing pants and they comped super well like the sell through rate rate was really good um but they have not sold and then there was this Talbot's vintage like wool coat and I've sold quite a few vintage wool coats recently um but they have not sold and then I also was super excited to find this Ibex jacket and it's actually made of merino wool it's really nice um this is what I wanted to talk about um, comping earlier. 
uh, somebody did send me like a $30 offer on it and I declined that. Oh, well, I, um, what is the word? Co-offered? Nope, nope, nope. Counter-offered. There it is. I counter-offered because I checked the comps again and they really, these jackets really are selling at, you know, $60, 70 So unless I'm seeing something wrong, I, I don't know. I don't think that I am. So and then the other thing I think is kind of weird is this Vineyard Vines hat. This, hi Layla, did you come to say hi? Uh, this Vineyard Vines hat, it was made of lamb's wool, I think, some kind of wool. And it's really cute and it's just like the right time. I don't know why it's not selling. I did think the comps were pretty good on that as well. So let's go over all the numbers for this haul. My profit, if I add up everything in my spreadsheet, my profit was $402.35. Do you remember what I paid for everything in the beginning? It's not ideal. So if I look up my cost of goods per the items that I sold, it comes to $133.21. I have to add that back in so I can take the whole complete thing out. Does that make sense? Please follow my math, my logic. It's crazy, I know. Uh, so I'm adding that back in. It comes to $535.56. And now I'm taking out the cost of goods that I paid for all of the items. So the whole $392.45. That leaves me with a profit for the whole trip of $143.11. Oh, that's so not great. Um, you know, like I said, I, I had to pay for meals and some travel costs and things like that. So I certainly, this was not like, if I was just going specifically just to thrift, this would have been a horrible decision on my part. I definitely would not have had made money. However, you know, this worked out where I could make it a work trip and go with my husband on his work trip and we could be together and it was um while i'm very glad that i got to do some thrifting and i really enjoyed it and had a lot of a lot of fun it was you know um a little bit more about being with my husband over our anniversary so all in all i mean i paid for <laughs> everything that i bought which is good but i would have liked to see that profit just a little bit higher right layla you can't probably can't see her she's out of frame but she agrees, <laughs> she agrees. So 38% sell through, that's just not ideal. All right, um, I would love to know if you keep track of what you've sold and especially like certain um, stores, what what sells well for you? Do, you? do you do this? Do you go and look back and see like, hey, was that worth it? Um, I just find it really interesting. I find the numbers interesting. If you have found it interesting, I would really appreciate it if you left me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you can check you check out another video right here. I make videos every Wednesday, most of the time. <laughs> and um, so check out another one if you haven't, and I will see you soon.